Hello everyone and happy fall. This is the second quarterly message from the president of Partners Continuing Care. Today we're gonna to focus on home care and outpatient services. And what better way to understand home care than to do a home care visit with a Partners Healthcare at Home nurse. And we're here today with one of our nurses from Partners Healthcare at Home, Pat Defina, who's gonna take us on a home care visit with her. I am happy to have you drive along with me today, David. And we're gonna go in and meet Peter and his wife, Rosemary. He had a recent heart attack and then coronary bypass surgery at the Brigham recently, and now he's home here to recover. Sure is good, Peter, 132 over 70. Good. Very, very good. Blood pressure, that top number that we hear in blood pressure, is the amount of force that it takes the heart to pump blood out to the arteries. So we don't want, we don't want that. Right. We want it to be a kind of a soft exit mm -hmm and a soft return to the hot. Peter, I, I'm really glad that you're doing so well. And you know, you're one of 3,000 people that we're taking care of in the community really? um, on any given day through Partners Healthcare at Home, thanks to great staff like Pat and her colleagues in nursing and in, in the uh, rehab therapy areas um, who are doing a lot of good work with people to keep them healthy and at home where they want to be. Uh -huh. I, I was a little worried at, uh, about getting to appointments and things, but you know, the appointments come to me, so it works great. Yeah. Feels like I've got, you know, the support that I had in the hospital, but um, I don't have to be in the hospital. That's the way we're moving more and more into healthcare, trying mm -hmm. to keep people at home as much as possible and in the community with their loved ones. Since you're a techie, are you keeping track of all the stats too all along the way? I have a whole spreadsheet. I'll <laughs> bet. I'll bet. Okay. So I hope that that gave you a much better feel for the nature of home care services and just how important it is for our patients, keeping them in the community at home where most of them really prefer to be. And remember, home care and outpatient services are two areas that we targeted as part of our strategic planning process for major growth based on the demands that we're seeing in this healthcare environment. And so next, we're gonna be moving on to one of our outpatient settings so you could get a better feel for outpatient care. So it started bothering me again after the Falmouth Road Race. And you know, okay. I'll be starting training pretty soon for the Boston Marathon. And so I gotta do something to prevent these knee injuries. Good body mechanics is huge when, uh -huh. as a runner, you know, especially with the distances you're talking about doing. Well, being sort of a chronic thing for you here, David, certainly eccentric quad strengthening is something we should we should uh, focus on. So one of the first things I'm gonna have you do here, David, sitting off the edge, so stick your left leg out here and stand up. All right, keep this one opposite though. All right, keep this, keep, there you go. Now come down nice and easy for me. The reason why we chose to meet at Spalding Cape Cod, one of our 24 outpatient centers, is because this October marks the 20th anniversary of Spalding Cape Cod, or what was originally the Rehab Hospital of the Cape and Islands. So happy birthday to all the staff at Spalding Cape Cod, and thanks for all the great work that you do for our patients. Spalding uh, is known for its work with a lot of uh, you know, catastrophically injured people, follow up from an inpatient basis, but you know, we're doing a lot of this sports-related injury and musculoskeletal work too. It's really important for Spalding's reputation to to have people understand that we can work with all of those different types of injuries. Absolutely. And I, I also, uh, I've noticed you've got a student here that's been observing you. This is Joe from MGH. From the Institute of Health Professions? Oh, wow. There's nothing that keeps you on your toes more than having a student this around. This is true. That's right. This is true. And, uh, you know, it's part of our mission, too, to train the next generation of professionals. We're also looking forward to a lot more activity this week. In connection with our commitments to teaching and research as part of our mission, this year we have a great opportunity as the American Association of Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation will be hosting its annual meeting here in Boston and 50 of our physicians and faculty will be making presentations and presenting posters at the annual meeting. All right, so straight out with this knee right over, right over the ankle, give you a little tension here. How's that feeling? Feels good. Little, giving you any yeah. pain at all? A uh, little, little uh, pain, not too sharp. So thank you very much for your attention, and I look forward to seeing you in three months with the next video message on the road with David Stordo.